What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and today we're going to be playing with a bunch of Kiko Milano products. It is one o'clock in the morning here so I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and waste no time. What it do boo? All right, let's go ahead and just jump into this. And to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the MAC Pearly Pot. I've got the Kiko Milano Green Me Eyeshadow Palette in 101 Cool Spice. It is a very neutral palette, and it did break here over on the side. But just very neutral colors, and it does come with a little compact mirror, which is nice. It's actually, actually fairly big. Where's my favorite brush? I'm going to start with this top middle shade here. Yeah, guys, it is 1 o'clock in the morning. Everyone in my house is asleep, and it's the weekend. And I don't really have another time this weekend where there won't be a ton of noise. Dogs won't be barking. Husband won't need something. Kids won't need something. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, and I have to work. So I figured everyone's asleep. It's quiet. Let's go ahead and... Play with some makeup and do not mind the craters that have been forming on my face. I said in the last video that I recently started hormone therapy because of my CRPS and all the medicine that I take. I just don't have any hormones. Yeah, I started hormone therapy and it has made me gain a little bit of weight and caused acne. It's been a fun ride so far. This is a really pretty color. It's just very... Faint and light. I just like it a lot. What the hair? What was that noise? I'm scaring myself because I'm next to the window. <laughs> then I'm going to take this darker shade here on the bottom and put it in my crease to darken it up a bit. Um, there is a lot of kickback in this pan. I'm not one who cares about kickback. As long as the product works, I don't really care. And these seem to be blending very lovely. Oh, and y'all, I'll see if I can like screen record some of the sales that they've got going on. And I don't know if they're still going on, but when I picked up this stuff, they had some crazy sales going on. And I got some of this stuff for like five or six dollars. And this is from Italy. It's like, to me, it's a luxury brand because they do have more expensive pricing also. So it's kind of nice. And then I'm going to take that original color and just blend over that just to make sure it's all blended out. All right, then I'm gonna take this deep brown here in the middle and put that on the outer third. And if I need it to go darker, I will use that other color. I really like this palette so far. It seems very natural and it seems like a very everyday type of use. Um, and I, I don't know, I really like that. It's not a, you know how like with ColourPop, you know you're gonna get so much pigment um, that sometimes it's a little too much. I, th I feel like certain pigments go for, I don't know like a workplace, I would wear whatever, but I do know that some people like to follow the rules. And this just seems like one of those follow the rules type of palettes. And I just, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's, it's really pretty. The tone looks really pretty and it's blending out amazing. And then I'm gonna take this gold shade and put it in the middle third and this white shade here and put it on the first third.
that's really pretty. I like that eyeshadow. That's really nice. Okay, let's get into complexion. Uh, primers first. I am going to use the NYX Plump Right Back Plumping Serum Plus Primer. It's got electrolytes in it, and the last time I used it, I really liked it. Actually, I've used it a couple times, and I, I really enjoy it. So, I will continue to use this. Oh, also for the eyeshadow, there wasn't any fallout, so that's good. I don't know if this will cover it, but I'm going to go ahead and put on the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and put this on my few little, few little, put this on the few little acne spots that I have. Okay, I'm not going to blend them out completely. I'm just going to put the foundation over it and hopefully that works. Uh, for foundation, I've got the Smart Hydrating Foundation by Kiko Milano. And I've got the shade 20 neutral or neutral 20. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I've never used this before, so I don't know if it's a good foundation or not. This will be a first impression. I don't know about the foundation, but it's a perfect shade match, and my skin looks really good. Like, really good. Wow. Man, I don't know if it's this primer that I'm using, or if it's just the primer in conjunction with other stuff, but the past few times that I have used the primer, my skin has looked like A1. Oh, I guess I should tell you what I'm using. I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 130N. The concealer that's in a pot is thicker, and so it covers up pimples better. And I just used whatever I had laying around. And so it doesn't do like a perfect job, but when you put concealer, let it sit for a little while, then put foundation over it, and then do your face how you normally would, it really does do a pretty well job of covering up acne. I mean, obviously. There are, there's some that you're not going to be able to cover up, but... And I'm gonna go ahead and just set underneath my eyes so that it doesn't crease up. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder and I'm just gonna use a little powder puff and just set my eyes lightly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves. Ooh, I got my nails done today. Look how cute. That's a chrome nail right there in the middle. And I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick in the shade Happy Soul. And I love this stuff. Oh my gosh, it is so smooth and just oh, gorgeous. It is such a... It's probably my favorite bronzer stick I have ever used so far. And then I always blend up with uh, bronzing and contour. You don't want to ever pull down uh, because you don't want to go below your cheekbone and drag your face down. Very nice. It's just so, it just looks very natural and very pretty and radiant and it makes your skin glow from within. And to set the perimeter of my face, I'm using the new e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in the shade Light 210N. And it is a little too dark for me right now, but as long as I go lightly and use a brush, it does pretty well. Mm -hmm. 
And to set the bronzer stick, I'm going to be using the Kiko Milano Lost in a Mouthy Bronzer and Highlighting Duo in the shade Sunkissed. First off, this packaging is to die for. I love this color and this packaging is, is really just gorgeous. And this is what the shade looks like. And this, did I just dig my, I just dug my nail into it. This is the bronzer up here and this is the highlighter. And I'm just going to kind of jump in with it. It's a little dark. Whoopsies. We can fix that though. Looks amazing. Wow. Wow. Like, yeah, it's a little bit dark because I went in heavy handed, but wow, that's smooth. Like really smooth. That's really nice. I like that a lot. And I'm just going out with my beauty blender, just kind of pressing it into the face and smoothing out the edges. For blush, I'm going to be using the Kiko Milano Unlimited Blush in the shade Rouge, maybe? Or Fard? I don't know. I don't know what the... I think Rouge. I think that's what it is. And here's the shade. It is gorgeous. It kind of matches my nails, actually. Let's get a little bit of blush on these cheeks. Oh my goodness. Wow. What in the world? Guys, I think I paid like $6 for this blush. This is the best blush I have ever used, ever. What? Like, amazing. It just mixed with all the other powders and just kind of sunk into my skin. Wow. 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 I don't really think I need highlighter because it's definitely highlighted by itself, but I'll go ahead and just put on like a teeny tiny bit. And I'm going to be using the ColourPop Lunch Money Highlighter. Let me go ahead and set my face. And despite me saying I hated this last video, I'm going to give it another chance because my skin looked so amazing. It is the NYX Plump Finishing Spray, and it also has electrolytes. The spray on this is insane. So I'm going to hold it back here. <laughs> my face is drenched. <laughs> my goodness. And I'm going to use a fan and my beauty blender to just kind of press it in my face. And what this does, it melts all those powders together and by pushing them into your skin, it just kind of um, makes it last a little bit longer and looks more like a glow within instead of makeup. And for my under eyes, I'm going to take this brown here and I think I'm just going to buff that out only. And then I'm going to take the white color and put it in the first third of my under eye. See if we can get this to show up a little bit. It's not really showing up with a brush. There it goes. All right, very lovely. And then, and for eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Thick It Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara. And this stuff is thick, just like it says. <laughs> That's what she said. It's got brow fibers on it, and it 
is a pigmented and it definitely makes your eyebrows look thicker and I haven't worn it on its own I always put a setter on top of it just to make sure they really stay up all day and then I take the benefit 24 hour setting gel And I just put that on and brush it through. And there you go, my friends. The easiest eyebrow ever. It's thick. And the other day when I did this, it lasted all day long. All day long. That's what she said. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick. I think that's my favorite eyebrow routine that I've ever done. It's just so simple, so easy, and it took me all of like two minutes. For mascara, I've got the Kiko Milano Maxi Mod Volume and Definition Mascara, and it looks like this, and it has the neatest looking brush. So here is the applicator. It's just this small little thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this top eye just to see what we're working with. Um, okay. So that is one coat and I do like it. It definitely does give me a volume and length. I can see that, but it does clump them together a little bit. So I will definitely use uh, one of these to kind of separate the lashes if I can. Yeah. And see, and then that takes away from some of the volume. So let me play with this real quick. Let me see what I can do uh, and I'll be right back. So I did want to show you real quick that this is two coats of the mascara and it definitely does give me volume and length. I think it's really nice. It is on the thicker side, so the lashes do tend to clump together. As long as you're okay with being patient and kind of maneuvering your lashes, it is a pretty decent mascara on first impressions, obviously. It takes me a few times to actually wear a mascara to decide if I like it or not. And for lips, I'm gonna use the Kiko Milano Unexpected Paradise Long Lasting Lip Stylo in the shade 5 Rosetto, maybe? Possibly. It is a super pretty reddish orange shade. Oh uh, my goodness. What does that smell? Mmm. I actually think it smells good. I don't know what that smell is. Like I can't pinpoint it, you know? Ooh, that is nice. It is super hydrating. It went on so smoothly. I really like this. I don't think they had any other colors. I think it was like a, a super sale or something that they were just trying to get rid of them. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. And the color is, uh, I had on my teeth. This is amazing. I really, really love this. This is probably gonna go on my purse because I can't stop staring at it. Like it looks really pretty. <laughs> this is the final face. This is what it looks like. I actually really, really like it. My skin looks amazing. The eyes look amazing. Like this is a really good face. I love I actually love all the Kiko Milano products. The only one I'm iffy about is the mascara, and that's only because I'm so picky with mascara. But it is the perfect size for your under eyes, so that's really nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not shocked that I liked it all, but I'm kind of shocked. I assumed there would be at least one thing that I was like, eh, it's alright, but I, I like it all. And I'm not sure, I'm telling you, I don't know if it's this, or this, or... I don't know what it is that's giving me such nice, such a nice complexion, but my God, I look beautiful. And I said I was gonna do this a while ago, and I always forget to put it in the video, but 
Today's perfume is Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's my favorite classique. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite perfume. I know I say they're all my favorite, but I mean, since I was like in high school, I started wearing this stuff in high school. I would put it on at my best friend's house and it's just one of my favorites. And until the, till this day, like if I walk in somewhere and someone's like, oh, Megan's here because of this smell. Ugh. But you know what's funny? is body chemistry because whew, it's pretty too much. Uh, my mom wore this once and she smelled like a granny, but I wear it and everyone gives me compliments. It's really crazy how body chemistry like molds with perfume and you get this like signature scent. I think it's really awesome. All right, that is it for makeup and for today's daily affirmation, it was I give myself permission to live stress-free and without guilt. I give myself permission to live stress-free and without guilt. I give myself permission to live stress-free and without guilt. A freaking man, am I right? Okay, so that's a really good one. Stress is, literally stress can kill you. It is one of the worst things to like bottle up and hold, up, hold on to and stress over every little thing. It wreaks havoc on your body. And I know this for a fact because with CRPS, every time I get stressed out, the myoclonus where like twitch like the Tourette's type thing um it gets really bad or instantly my pain gets bad it's it's the craziest thing over the tiniest stressor so i know for a fact that stress is really bad for you it's really bad for your body it's bad for your mental health so i give myself permission i give you permission let's all just live stress-free and without guilt even if it's just for today or tonight do it all right, y'all, that is it for me. Thank you so much for being here. If you've made it this far, it truly does help with the algorithm. As always, please like, share, subscribe. And if you want to follow me along on Mondays, Thursdays, and the occasional other day, hit that notification bell. All right, y'all, bye.